Hello, I'm Chris. This is Kersey Fabrications, and today we're talking about using carbon fiber rails for a custom 3D printer. So today we're talking about building a custom 3D printer. This is an AP8 that I'm working on here, which is an all plastic printer meaning we use uh, all 3D printed parts except for anything uh, that you can't use 3D printed parts for, such as your motor, your lead screws, screws to put together the printer, and things like that. Um, we're not talking about the printer itself today. I'm talking about the carbon fiber rods that I would like to try to use for the uh, X gantry, uh, the Z uh, uh, rods, as well as the uh, Y rods here at the bottom. This is a uh, A8 base design. Um, so we're going to take a look and see how how well they work, what I've found with what I've uh, purchased here, and then sort of talk about what I plan on doing from here on out. So first of all, I currently have this set up with the carbon fiber rods uh, on all three axes. Uh, we've got, uh, these are 500 millimeter rods uh, and these have been cut down to length. These I've left long, they kind of stick out the back here, but it works for what we're using it for. So the question is, of course, why would we use carbon fiber rods over the steel rods, which are the uh, standard rods you find on 3D printers? Well, first of all, they're stiff, they're light, uh, and they don't bend very easily, meaning if they start to bend, they're going to break before you have any real um, degradation from your straight rods. So uh, I know a lot of people that order the steel rods, they end up with bent ones, they have to send it back. These you're not gonna have that problem with. If they arrive, they're gonna hopefully arrive straight if they're high quality carbon. Um, so straight off the bat, I can tell you these work really well uh, for the Z rods because they are, um, they have a lot of strength in this direction and they're not going to bend on you. Uh, any, any bending uh, that you normally have maybe in this direction or this direction, you're not going to have in the Z direction. As you can see, if I move these in sync here, they move very smoothly. So what am I using uh, on these pieces to keep them in line? So the typical bearings you have on these printer are ball bearings. You don't want to use these typically on the carbon rods because uh, the, the bearings, uh, people say, can leave grooves in these plastic because what you've got here is just carbon fiber with uh, resin and uh, that plastic resin that they use, you, you, can, you can cut grooves into if through repeated motion. Uh, so what you typically use is bushings. And so bushings are these small metal uh, sheaths. Uh, and in this case, these are from UXL. I got these from Amazon. They're UXL self-lubricating composite bushings. They're eight millimeter for eight millimeter rods uh, by 10 millimeter. Uh, they are a carbon steel casing with a PTFE lining. Um, and when you have these on the rods by themselves, they work pretty good. Uh, in fact, they move uh, very smoothly. And as we were saying, in this direction, uh, they move very well. So what did I do? So what I've got here is I 3D printed uh, plastic versions of these holders and then made the inside dimensions eight millimeters to, to, to where I could um, press in the bushings uh, into them. So that's what I have here. These are mounted directly below the plate. Uh, they have two bushings each, uh, one in one and one in the other. Uh, so what I have found, again, you're moving in this direction, they move fine. Uh, on this axis here, they're a little tight. Uh, I've got two of those here, one on the bottom if you're not familiar with the A8 design. Uh, they seem to move just fine. I'm going to have to, I think I'm going to go with it for now. Um, we'll see how they work once they have uh, the ET2 belt installed. Uh, and we'll see how well it moves. Uh, on this axis though, they're, they're a little further apart. And so they don't move very freely. 
Uh, I've even put in some uh, washers and stuff to try to uh, eliminate some of the, the binding here. So far, no good. As you can see, I have to push kind of hard for here. Um, so, what are our other options? Uh, well, let me pull out this rod and I'll show you what I had in mind. So, here is our carbon rod. Again, bushings by themselves move very well. It's only when you start putting uh, several of these in line that they don't seem to move very well uh, because they bind up. There's not a lot of wiggle room. So the other option I had, first of all, here's the standard uh, ball bearings that you get here. Ordered this off of Amazon as well. These move extremely well on here. Again, if it wasn't for the concern of uh, cutting grooves into here with the balls, then I I'd probably just go with this and it would be fine. But given that concern, the other option is to 3D print some bushings. So what I did, uh, this is a 3D printed bushing. Let's see here, a little focus. But what it is, these are available on Thingiverse. Uh, these are printed in base mode. So it means that the entire bushing is one continuous thread of filament. It makes them very strong. Uh, they're not going to break when they flex. Um, so what I did is I printed these out of three different materials. We have one that's printed in PETG, and I got two different um, two different PLAs that I tested it in. So the first PLA, I used some samples that I got from my Maker Box. Uh, the first one is a linen PLA. Um, it's a matte finish, which I thought would help. Um, it's a biofilament. That's this linen colored filament. And the final one is a, what they call P-L-A-Y-P-H-A-B, uh, Playfab. Uh, this one probably turned out with the best finish. It's, it's, very, uh, it's a very good filament. You can't actually see the seams um, on the axes. And this was printed with a 0.2 layer height. Uh, again, there's that one. There's the linen and the, um, the PETG is uh, just a generic PETG that I had laying around. Let's take a look. So with each of these on the rods, the PETG really doesn't move very smoothly. You may be able to hear it, uh, it doesn't slide very well. So I didn't print any more of those. Uh, I tell you the linen um, did not print very smoothly. You can kind of fear the, fill the layers and, and they're moving of course in the opposite direction of motion. So again, it moves okay. It moves better than the PETG did, but it, it's, it's still got quite a bit of, of, of sort of grinding when you, when you move on the uh, axis. So the last one is this Playfab. Again, printed very smoothly and I think it has the, the best motion of all of these. Uh, moves very smoothly. We won't really know how it works until we have them all mounted uh, to see how that works uh, and, and how the motion is. Uh, but I did go ahead and I printed four of these because I'll need two on each of these rods. And we'll go from there and see how it goes. So. Um, Feel free to give me your opinion, uh, tell me what you think about using carbon fiber in general, if you think I'm crazy for even trying it, uh, or which one of these options uh, you would go with if you were me. So uh, more later on this 3D printer, which is getting close to being done, I filmed some previous videos about some of the uh, assembly that went into this printer, and we can talk more about it later. So, it's been maybe an hour since I recorded the last part of this video. Since then, I went ahead and replaced the ball bearings and the uh, bearing holders, um, the metal ones that you get with like the A8. And I replaced those with the 3D printed um, bearings or bushings that I created out of the uh, Playfab. And um, 
So here's what we've got. So all of this is screwed down tight. I've adjusted the distances and all of my rails from here and here and here and here. And uh, so everything should be squared up. Notice now, got a pretty smooth bed. Um, I don't think the, the belts will have any problem pulling this. Um, pretty happy with it. So I think I'm gonna go with this for the initial version of the printer. Uh, I like uh, the metal uh, on metal uh, bushing holders that I've got going on here now. Uh, everything's very square. I think it's gonna be a good build surface. Um, I think that's it for now. Thanks for watching.